there it is. Yep, this is the first, it's the first dead record I ever had. That image there, you know, you never forget that once you see it. <laughs> As a kid, I always wondered, I was like, what does that mean, you know? And this is where my world kind of opened up. The opening of this record was the opening of my young world. Oh yeah, I mean, look at that. There's more madness. Oh, well yeah, too, that, you know. The whole wall of sound thing. I would look at that for hours and be like, whoa. There you have it. It changed my life forever. to see the captain strangest I could find laid my proposition down laid it on the line I won't slay for beggars pay likewise golden dew Ship of fools, oh. 
Well, you know, Ship of Fools, it's, it's just, it's one of those great, great dead songs. Those lyrics, they say a lot, you know, um, in, a, in a short amount of time. There's not a lot of verses to that tunes, uh, to that song. There's just, um, it just, it just nails it. It's one of those songs, it just nails it. Mm -hmm. And the original dead version, or the way they played it, it had that, it had that mystical quality that um, I really connect to. The song, yeah, it's just one of those songs I could really relate to. And um, it's one of those songs that I've always felt that I can own that. I can sing that one, you know? Because it's not the case with everything. There's a lot of great songs that we all love, but not everyone can sing them. There's plenty of songs that I love that I wouldn't touch, you know? But for whatever reason, Ship of Fools, to me, I feel like, all right, this one's mine. <laughs> you know, I, I, can, I can bring something to this, you know. Yeah.